So hello there, my name's Daniel Metro, welcome to the video. And this is a review on the Backman Rusty that's just come out uh, in the Backman range. Um, we've been waiting a very long time for this model to come out, um, two years to be precise. Um, but nevertheless it's here now and I think um, it was worth the wait. Although at the same time it does make me question how Backman actually run a business when their releases take so long. But then, like I say their models are quite nice when they come out, but like I said unfortunately it does take a very long time. And as well, when these do come out, you have to order them in advance because they do sell like hotcakes. Um, but yeah, um, absolutely fantastic detail all the way around. Um, and the, the face, not just the face, but the model itself looks like what Rusty looked like in the CGI animated era of the show. Um, and also, when, um, obviously, as you probably remember, Rusty was in the uh, Railway series, which was the books um, before the television series was even made. And when he was in the Railway series, he was painted black. Um, but in the TV series, he's always been painted orange. And one of my personal favourites um, was the episode Rusty to the Rescue, where he saved Stepney from scrap, um, although it was heavily adapted from the uh, actual book itself, which, to Marge, the Reverend W. Audrey uh, wasn't very happy about. Um, but like I said, I, I enjoyed the episode when I was younger. Um, probably one of my favourites, I think. And, uh, and I'm glad they've actually released Rusty. He is one of my favourite uh, narrow gauge engines. And all the uh, narrow gauge engines, or majority of them, should I say, are based upon um, the engines on the Talquin Railway, where I've been to. Um, and I mean, that's it in Wales, and also over there, I've been on the Festiniog Railway, the Snowden Railway, and Clangotlin. I've been to quite a few railways over there. In, um, and I think definitely my, one of my more favourite engines would have to be uh, Peter Sam, the narrow gauge engine. As I've said before, and I hope they release him. I'm surprised that Rusty's come out next because obviously they've released um, Scar Louis and Reneus, um, and I've actually took photos next to um, Reneus, and I don't think the um, scale is quite right when you compare to what Rusty looked like in the TV series. He is uh, very, very small, um, but then again, that could actually be um, relevant to obviously his actual basis on the Talcum Railway, as I was mentioning earlier. Uh, I'm actually going back to that railway again, um, be around July time. Um, another thing as well is uh, in the uh, railway series and again the TV series and the early model era, uh, Rusty's face uh, was quite small. Um, however, from the uh, later model series and then going again into the uh, CGI animated series, his face has become a lot larger. And um, to my knowledge, a lot of fans um, didn't really like that. But again, personally, you know, um, I'm not too fussed, you know, unless they go and do anything drastic like paint rusty pink or paint in blue or a completely different colour. You know, obviously I'm not going to be very happy, but, um, you know, I mean, even if they painted in black, I wouldn't mind as much because that's what he was like in the railway series, as I said earlier. But, you know, unless they do anything drastic, I'm not too fussed on um, how big his face is. Um, and when he came back to the um, CGI series, he was a lot more detailed. He's got like rivets and these grills on him. And also he's got the lamp on the back. Again, he did have that in the model series as well, the lamp on his back, like most of the narrow gauge engines. Um, but again, despite the I think the size, um, absolutely great detail all the way around. I think Backman has done a great job again. Um, like I said, though, I do hope that they release other narrow gauge engines. Um, like I was surprised that Han Sir Handel didn't come out as he's engine number three, and obviously they've done Scar Louis one, Reneus number two. Um, so I'd have thought the handle would have been next, but I'd done Rusty. But then I suppose Rusty's popularity is a lot, lot bigger compared to the handles, um, really. And I mean, obviously there's other narrow gauge engines, and I quite like Millie, uh, the narrow gauge engine, and also Mighty Mac, uh, which is based upon a double fairly on the Festinio Railway. Uh, two engines uh, built into one. You know, I'd love it if he got released as well. Um, and I've had a look at the uh, packaging for this model, and the packaging is very similar um, to Renaissance's. Um, the only difference is obviously now on the back, um, it shows Rusty on there as well, as well as the other ones they already do. Um, like I said, I had a little run of this model. Um, he does run really well indeed on my little layout. And um, you can buy 009 size track, but I've used Engage track on this layout. You've probably seen this layout of mine before in other videos that I've done. I've had it for about three years. So this is my very first run with Rusty. Um, he's a very smooth runner in my opinion. Um, yeah, I really like him. Uh, so now I'll show you. Yep, 
There we go, he's locked. Here he is going backwards now, still running really well. Around here there's a lot, little bit of dodgy connection with the electrics, but on the say on the whole he still runs really well over it indeed, I think. Give me a few trucks to pull now. It seems to be handling quite well. I've actually got more trucks and a brake van that I've not put the brake van on. Um, I do apologise to any railway uh, critics for not using the brake van. Um, however, I can assure you no one's going to get hurt, as this is only a model railway. Again, going back to the railway series, um, you've got to remember that a lot of the stories uh, the, the Reverend W. Audrey wrote were all based upon um, real events that happened on the Salcombe Railway and uh, other railways, um, and obviously inspired by those events, um, you know, which is obviously quite good. And like I said, um, I think Rusty looks re realistic. I say I'm not 100% sure on the size though. So when it came to giving him a score, I decided to give him an 8.5 out of 10 because I thought he was a really good model, but then not quite there. It was a bit of a tough one really, but so I do like the model. I certainly recommend you get him. And I think, but I do think as well, running wise, he runs a lot better than Scar Louis and Reneus, who I've like, reviewed in the past. Um, another thing I'd add, add about this model, though, is all the 009 ones have a die cast, like made of die cast metal. And um, I've got nothing against die cast, because obviously, as you know, I collect all the uh, die cast ones. And I've got some in boxes and some out of boxes. Um, but yeah, having them against it, but the problem with obviously die cast is it's a scratch easy. Although I think I've managed to maintain and keep mine um, quite well. So, I mean, I haven't played with them a huge, huge, huge amount, sort of thing, if you know what I mean. Played, obviously, if you know what I mean. Not played, but you know, I had a run of them, sort of thing. I know not many railway uh, model enthusiasts like to use the word play, um, but yeah, you know what I mean. Um, like I said, so they can scratch easy, the die cast ones. Um, but they do look very nice, don't get me wrong. Like I said, this is a very good model. Um, and I got this from Tootley Thomas, where I've got most of my other Thomas things from over the years. And, um, you know, I've got other things from other places as well, obviously, I've mentioned in other videos. Um, but, you know, thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, goodbye.